What's up everyone? Today we're gonna define our acids and bases. So um, just a review. Uh, we learned a little bit about the properties of each of these. So recall that acids taste sour. So think of lemons, right? Um, whereas bases taste kind of bitter, right? Remember soaps are often considered bases. And if you ever had to wash your mouth with soap, you would know it tastes kind of bitter. Um, they also share some properties. They're both corrosive and they both contain electrolytes. Uh, acids, on the other hand, react with metals to form hydrogen gas and bases feel slippery. Again, think soaps. Uh, other properties we briefly mentioned, this has a pH of less than seven, uh, pH greater than seven for our bases. Um, okay, acid or base, which is it? So to help us figure out if we have an acid or base, we often use an indicator. And so these substances change color depending on the pH. So if you have um, litmus paper, acids will turn blue litmus paper red, and bases turn red litmus paper blue. Another indicator that we'll be using is this chemical phenolphthalein. Um, it's really good at figuring out if you have a base or not, because if you do, uh, this chemical turns pink. Otherwise, it's just kind of clear. So indicator is one way we can figure out if we have an acid or base. Um, I'm gonna talk about this guy, Savant Arrhenius. So he gave his own definition of acids and bases, which is awesome. Uh, but he also was the first person to use chemistry to figure that carbon dioxide emissions increase the Earth's surface temperature. Basically, this is the idea behind um, global warming, and now more commonly we hear about climate change. So really, really distinguished scientist, this guy. Uh, but the way he talked about acids and bases is this. Um, he said that acids will produce hydrogen ions, okay, eventually those combine with water to form hydronium, um, and so HCl here, when it dissociates, which means to separate, it's going to form two ions, this hydrogen ion and this chlorine ion. So for him, HCl was an acid because it formed hydrogen. His definition of a base was something that produces hydroxide ions, right? Remember OH is hydroxide. So something like NaOH, right? Because it has that hydroxide is gonna be a base. Okay. Continuing with this idea, when you combine an Arrhenius acid and an Arrhenius base together, it's basically a double displacement reaction, right? So the hydrogen will switch with the sodium, and we end up with two products always. We're going to get water, H2O, and some kind of salt. It's not always going to be NaCl, um, but some kind of ionic compound um, will come from the reaction of these. And we'll practice this more uh, tomorrow. And this is a pretty good definition for acids and bases. However, what do you think? Do all bases have hydroxide? No, they don't. So we have to think of another way of thinking about acids and bases. Before we talk about the next definition, we're just gonna think about hydrogen. So here we have hydrogen, one proton, one electron. If we took away that electron, all we're left with is a hydrogen ion or simply a proton. Okay, so a hydrogen ion is the same thing as a proton. You might hear me talk about protons. When I talk about protons, I'm just talking about a hydrogen ion. So Bronsted Lowry is another scientist who defined acids and bases. According to Bronsted Lowry, acids are chemicals that donate protons, okay, or 
hydrogen ion. Remember, those are the same. So in this example, the HCl, the acid, right, hydrochloric acid, is donating a hydrogen to the water here. So we know that it's getting rid of that hydrogen because here, instead of H2O, we have H3O. So we can see how it changes from left to right. Okay, and so the chemical that gives away a proton is an acid. The chemical that receives that proton is going to be what we call the Bronsted-Lowry base. So here we have the acid. And so water, in this case, would be a Bronsted-Lowry base because it's receiving um, a proton. Okay, so one way I like to think of this um, is acids give away, whereas bases borrow. Okay, that's one way you might remember uh, which is which. So here we have an example uh, where we can see that happening. We have water, in this case, giving away a proton to NH3. I know that it's giving it away because NH3 becomes NH4. Okay, so that means this chemical gained a proton, making it the Bronsted Lowry base. Because this chemical gave away a proton, that's the Bronsted Lowry acid. Remember, proton is the same thing as hydrogen. But this is a reversible equation, and we can see the same thing happening on the right side. So on the right side, if we're looking from this equation, the one going from right to left, we see that NH4 is giving a hydrogen to OH minus, and NH4 will become NH3, right? So in this case, because this chemical is giving away a hydrogen, we call it the conjugate acid, okay? The chemical that's receiving that hydrogen on the right side is called the conjugate base, okay? So we've got our Bracillari acid and base, and then on the right side, the product side, we'll have our conjugate acid and our conjugate base. But the idea is the same. Acids give away protons and bases borrow. All right. We'll wrap up this lesson with a practice problem here. So which reactant is the Bronsted-Lowry acid? Which one is the Bronsted-Lowry base? And then what, what's the conjugate acid? What's the conjugate base? So you want to look at this equation and see what's changing. So H2O becomes H3O. So that tells me that this chemical is giving away a hydrogen to water. Okay. On the opposite side, we see that H3O, if we're going from right to left, becomes H2O. So this must have given away a hydrogen to this chemical. Okay. So knowing that information, I want you to answer these questions. Which one's going to be the Bronsted Lowry acid? Again, you should look at the reactants. That's on the left side. Which one is the Bronsted-Lowry base? Which chemical is the conjugate acid? So this one you want to look on the left side, the products. And which chemical is the conjugate base? All right, hopefully you were able to figure those out. We'll continue to review.